and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am reviewing Love Island episode two. I thought it was decent, um, but let's just get into it. But before I actually get into it, so you guys, you know, like, comment and subscribe, put on those notifications, support me, road to 5,000. So of course the last episode ended off with Chloe coming, I mean, no coming, sorry. She was sending out voice note. Sorry guys, let me just start by saying, I even hate to say this, but her voice is very annoying. And the fact that the, the voice note voice is her real voice, was painful it's slow it's high pitch it's almost like she's trying to be cute and it's like it's not cute and like even some things that she does with her tongue like the way she was drinking the water bottle like with her tongue out first it's like i know you want to be flirty and da, da 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 but it's like it's a bit annoying but anyways um so the guys had to decide who was going on the date so they all run off and go speak in the bedroom and they come up with this cool plan that they're all gonna go. Now, I think they should all go, it's day one. Uh, no one is committed to anyone, like literally nobody. And I think this is like the first time it's ever happened in Love Island where literally nobody ev is even like remotely anything with anybody. Um, so they all decide to go and Toby, he's giving me player vibes because he wanted to be the spokesperson and say, oh, well, I don't wanna leave Chloe on her own and we all might as well go see her, so yeah. And the fact that he literally said that same story verbatim to the girls was just hilarious um but yeah alas they were curious i get it go so as the guys went off oh my gosh phase phase and sarcasm was absolutely too much like she even said that oh i guess we're like the old me at tesco like she's so expressive i love it i feel like she's gonna give some spice this season just because she seems really outspoken and i love it i'm here for anyone that is outspoken so ultimately i thought the group date was kind of awkward i don't think it was because it's difficult for one girl to go on a date with five guys and they're all like trying to figure out when to go next and stuff like that but i thought overall it was cool um chloe seems to be a character i feel like she's gonna be one of those girls that if a guy is in a couple with another person she's gonna take man she's gonna take man or she's gonna try to i think that's how she comes across to me i didn't like how aaron was super super cocky when he was saying about oh two girls step forward for me and then i picked somebody else just to like spice things up like the way he said it was like it was a punchline like he was telling a joke i don't know there's a bit of there's an air of arrogance about him like it's true that's what happened but it's like Mm, he got a bit of cockiness going on so after their date they all go back into the house and of course the women see her and stuff like that and instantly liberty's like oh my gosh she's pretty she's blonde blah 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 and i find this really annoying and i feel like this happens kind of often like a girl will see a blonde girl will see another blonde girl and instantly think competition i think it's because oftentimes like jake jake said he likes girls that are blonde forget about looks forget about height weight forget about the size of this, the size of that, the da 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 da. Forget, like, forget about all of those stuff. He just wants a blonde girl. So even if this blonde girl's got a pixie cut, I guess he likes blonde. Like, it's just a blonde. It's a blonde girl. But I hate the fact that Liberty was like, "Oh, she's stunning." Da 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 da. Like, I'm not talking about nobody's looks now because that's just not what we're gonna be doing on this channel. But Liberty is a beautiful girl, especially when she took off her makeup. I feel like she's a really, really pretty girl, and I think she has nothing to worry about when it comes to chloe i think with chloe she just comes across way more flirty way more like you, you, she comes across more like y'all know what i'm trying to say i'm not even trying to say i y'all know what i'm trying to say where liberty comes across more sweet um so i think that's just the difference but i don't think liberty has anything to worry about but it is quite a, it's a funny thing that each and every time a blonde comes in it's almost like oh that's my instant competition because we're blonde it's like is that it y'all don't look similar and same thing with Faye, like, you don't, you don't look similar, so I just, I, I'm just, I'm just not getting it. So Chloe goes into the, the confessional thing, and she's all, like, gloating and happy that she got all this attention and says that she loves it. So I think she's definitely going to be a troublemaker. Uh, I think it could benefit her, but it could be to her detriment, potentially. Um, but I guess we'll just have to see. So after all of that, every, it was bedtime for everybody, and, um literally everyone was facing the opposite way when they were sleeping so literally nothing no literally there's no chemistry in this house it's just insane there's actually no chemistry in this house um kaz and toby slept facing each other what which i thought was cute but then the next day i guess or even i think that same night they were talking about how i guess toby promised kaz he was gonna cuddle her or something like that but it didn't happen so i'm glad okay so i'm annoyed that he promised it because it's like 
why but then the next day so i'm skipping ahead a little bit but the next day for him to be like oh i didn't want to cuddle her because i want to give her the wrong signal then it's like then don't say it like and even still who's gonna i don't know I'll, I'll be damned if i catch feelings for a guy over a cuddle but if he that's his authentic truth then just be authentic with it and don't leave her any breadcrumbs for her to try pick up and then you pie her like you said all these girls are your type so if she if she's dropping things you but you want to pick it up so but if you don't want to pick it up just you know what I mean? Fall back. So this is something that I saw as a theme with Chloe throughout the show and it's really annoying me. Like, okay, yes, Hugo is not your type. Okay, fine. But, okay, so she did say um, she's the, she, he's the only one she's not, like, got that attraction to, which is fine. Fair enough. That's cool. But she made him, like, the butt of some jokes. Like, I think when Kaz asked her, who are you coupling up with at the end end, she was like, oh, Hugo, and then laughed. And it's like, are you serious like chloe are you serious babe like again i know hugo's very different but hugo's not even like he i don't even think he's all like okay no shade to dr alex big up dr alex but dr alex was a lot was a lot more awkward in my opinion hugo seems like in the right space with the right person he would be a different character that's why i think he's not unattractive i think he's kind of cute but I think just with the characters, I think this is a running theme throughout the house. Nobody's really attracted to anybody. So it's hard for people's true personalities to come out, at least in a romantic manner or with the opposite sex, just because people are not, they can't, they're not vibing with people. So it's just like, uh, but uh, yeah, Chloe, I'm, I know you think you're funny, but those Hugo jo jokes got to stop because you're going to be disliked because of it. Because he, he's literally like unprovoked, like no reason so going back to the chronological order the girls start gymming okay, i'm not even i just have to say shannon's body is just insane kaz has an amazing like body and her bum lard oh anyways um so the girls come out and they do exercises and stuff like that and then the guys are watching them and then come down strolls chloe in her neon green bikini um pulling all the tension away from the girls and it's funny because none of the girls really for real for real maybe find the guys attractive but because chloe stole the attention they wanted the attention back so they're like come on guys let's put on our bikinis even shannon but i think it's interesting i think they just want attention but it's because there's no chemistry in the house it was just like i don't want your connection but i don't want you to be with anybody else type things like i don't know it's, it's a weird one but i think i just can't wait for more people to come in because can we not make any connections out of these 10 people like oh sorry 11 people it's actually like insane so in the next scene the boys go to the gym and then chloe confident chloe and that's i'll give her that she's very confident she steals um what's his name jake away it's for a conversation their conversation is cool i think they have different sense of humor and stuff like that but it was cool um ultimately she says she didn't have that that banter with him so i don't know if there's a connection there that's the impression at least she gave from that one conversation in the next scene she pulled away aaron and guys i'm sorry please let me know um if i'm if i'm like off base with this when aaron was like oh i went to the university of birmingham oh my gosh and then he was like i studied economics and she was like oh my god and it's like girl you ain't even when he said he went to uni she was excited i'm like girl you don't know anyone i went to uni that went to a good uni that studied economics like girl like who 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 you be hanging around with like uni's a very regular thing like all around the uk baby so i'm just like i don't know she was just doing a lot i think it's her flirting her form of flirting um but it was just it was just loud and i don't know like is aaron really a model because i think he pop i think he could do modeling but are you a model you know what i mean like i don't know you know what i mean there's a difference but i think the skincare thing makes sense because he has got good skin now I'll give he, he he really does have good skin um and she said they had a good conversation but i'm trying to think what was the conversation really that good i don't know again we don't see everything but it's just kind of like mm, i don't know but she she seemed to like that um and then she spoke to brad and brad described himself as having no chat but having good conversation now i ain't seen this good conversation like i'm, I'm like i'm not writing brad off whatsoever but i haven't seen that good conversation maybe it's because sometimes i don't understand what he's saying because i think the conversation that they had was quite like casual was quite regular was quite just regular normal um i don't think 
uh, I think Chloe came out of it like really excited, but it's like from again from what we saw, it wasn't a it wasn't much. The only thing I remember is that she was like, "I like be called like baby and princess," and he was like, "I won't be calling you princess," and she laughed. But I don't even think that was him telling a joke. That was him saying like, "No, real talk, we're not, we're not doing that over here." So um, it's difficult. There's just a lot of there's not a lot of like chemistry a lot of spark i'm just not seeing what i need to be seeing because i think the show overall is good but I, we need the connection there's no love the hair is just island this is literally just called island where there's no love in this so to spice things up love island do their challenge the challenge is called like the i think i'm gonna call it like the devil challenge or whatever oh my gosh guys some of the things that some of these people were saying i'm gonna keep it pg because i do not want this video to be demonetized so um basically for those that haven't watched it because i know some us people watch me hello guys um so basically the challenge was there was a secret that each gender had to read off and then they had to pair it with who they think did it from the opposite gender so the first one the guys went first and it was um something like can you get excited in your sleep that's how i'm gonna say it so i can't remember who got i think i think who was it i think jake got that one and kissed liberty but it was actually kaz and i'm like that's interesting guys if i get anything wrong please let like please let me know there was one about doing things in a in a toilet and it was shannon which was shocking but what was awkward about that whole scene was that uh it, toby got the got the phrase then he thought okay yeah i think it's shannon he goes up to shannon and so you're supposed to kiss them guys so he goes up to shannon tries to kiss her and he's like and she's like no she tries to bring him to the cheek and he's like it, the whole thing was just like an awkward uh, situation and basically he got pied it's not it's not you know what I mean? it's not him it's anyone i think shannon is kind of really playing it like i don't care i'm not doing anything i don't want to do and i think it's quite interesting because we've never really had an island an islander be so like i'm only playing the game to a certain extent and that's quite interesting and i think she's really trying to stay true to herself and not trying to be an islander i think she's going to be one of the realest people on the show because i think she's just really not here for what she's not here for she's just not gonna act and just do it just for the game she's like nope not even interested like which was really really funny but i, I can't believe she did things in a well so i can't believe some of these people were admitting things on tv then there was one about a f like liking feet of course that was jake because who else would that actually be um there was another one i think hugo did one about like doing things in the road on the road hugo a whole pe teacher a whole teacher like the staff room tomorrow is gonna be popping he tried to say he kissed 10 girls in one night why that's the thing is if it's true he's 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 not awkward but i think around the people he's with it's not coming out yet because if that's true in a road and kissing 10 girls in one night in one night I hope he used like mouthwash and tic-tac and all that stuff between that because in one night, 10 kisses in one night, that's greedy. Two, three, 10, too many. So I think those were some of the ones that were like shocking and stuff like that. Um, but the challenge was overall good. I think it got people comfortable. Kaz kissed Toby and she seemed like, oh, they both seemed like they liked it. Um, Brad kissed Faye again and they seemed like they liked it. Um, Aaron kissed chloe and sharon they both well, all three of them seemed that they liked it jake kissed liberty um and then hugo got a kiss from faye yeah from faye um but yeah i guess it's an icebreaker and it was cool typical love island challenge yeah nothing nothing crazy so chloe asks the girls who she should pick why did faye and somebody else i think it might have been shannon say pick hugo Hmm. it's almost like a strategy thing because they know nobody's dying to pick him i it just i feel like this is gonna annoy me i'm not gonna lie like mm, i really hope they bring in a girl for him soon but it has to be a specific type of it has to be a specific track there needs to not be a girl that likes guys that ban gym or like guys that like tanning and guys that like tattoos and stuff it needs to be like an actual different type of girl guys oh this season's gonna be long i can feel it i can actually feel it um when the girls got ready them girls look good oh my gosh body everyone was just looking like 
everyone was just looking sweet everyone was just looking sweet and i loved everyone's outfits and stuff like that um and then it got to the end i got a text so then chloe had the text about girl you need to pick somebody um and then love island doesn't even give us anything like the episode finished at 9 58 but the program's supposed to end on like the tv guide at 10 05 y'all could have given us more content but we're gonna see it tomorrow and i guess there's gonna be this big thing that happens that i can't even guess but i think maybe another person's gonna come in because um, they need to bring in another person i'm not even gonna lie they need another person now they need a man now and they need a 10 10 they need a mm, they need a rrr. they need so they need someone spicy someone that is gonna be they need an ov i know it's never gonna be a second ov i, I know i know but they need a some they need someone scrumptious for real my prediction is from Chloe's description, she said she liked someone that's attractive. This person was attractive and they didn't speak much. For some reason, my body's saying Brad because she's already written off Alex by the chat. And she seemed quite into the chat with Brad. I could be wrong, but that's what my spirit is telling me. But guys, let me know what you think. And yeah, I just think overall, the show, they need to just bring in more people ASAP because I just cannot believe there's no connections. Like, it's just, it's insane. There's actually no connections. Like how are they no connections it's it's difficult to really get our meat and potatoes into the show when no one really cares for each other they kind of just want to care about whether they're going to stay or not ultimately at this point but there's no love here so producers if you're listening please start bringing in people that people are going to like please listen to people's preferences and bring those people down please this is not difficult like please 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 but guys that's it for my review today i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know what you think in the comment section below let's have a conversation and guys i really appreciate it for my first video y'all really showed up and showed out for my first video i really appreciate it and i hope i continuously see that hi to my new subscribers i'm just honestly so grateful and i think this channel is going to do well with reviewing these Love Island episodes. But yeah, let me stop waffling. Um, thank you. Yeah, thank you guys for watching my video. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video for Love Island. Bye.